Zongbo and welcome to Do You Know Your Child? I'm your host Choni. Appreciate the value of play. It's a child work. Play is critical to all aspects of a child's development, but is often overlooked as a valuable tool. Play can prevent discipline problems, offer a natural way for children to learn, and is essential in the formation of a positive relationship between parents and child. In our last show, our participant made some commitments. Let's see how well they're doing. Last week, I had uh, committed that I'll spend more time with my daughter. So I'm trying my best to spend more time with her, uh, to see what she needs, to go out with her, do every little things together. From last week, I've committed that I'll be more attentive. Um, and I'm trying to be more attentive when I do my homework. And it's working out. My hobby is to read books, and this is my favorite storybook, Tia Stilton and the Ghost of the Sheep Rick. Surprise! This year, summer came early to New Mouse City. By noontime, the sun was so hot, the streets started baking. But at sunrise, when that delicious little breeze blew in from the east, it was wonderful to scamper through the park. Talk with and listen to your child. It's important to make eye contact and use gentle touch when communicating with your child. Give clear and consistent instructions, but not too many at once. Remember the importance of nonverbal communication and be sure to hold a child for comfort or to share smiles and hugs. Let's see which family we have today. Hi, my name is Namiti Giri. I'm I'm 10 years old, I study in Dr. Tapke school and I'm in class 5E. My expectations for the shows are I'm gonna be nervous, I will track my mom all the way down to the show. Hello, I'm Munu Giri, mother of Nikita Giri and Namita Giri. My husband is Nirkumar Giri, he's working in Mangdesu Hydro Project and I'm working in Timbujoka. Giri. I'm working. I'm living with my family here in Thimpu. Uh, I think she is a child uh, like who is very much interested in her career and all these things. And she is very particular about things. Like when she has to go to school, I think she is uh, like she has to be on time. And if something like if her elder daughter, no, like she. She is a little bit, uh, take it easy life, you know, take it easy things. She takes things for granted. But she is very particular. And uh, I think they will grow high. They will grow good. <laughs> As a parent, we are actually uh, taking a lot of care about things. And as a, um, like, I'm, we both are employees. Uh, so we have a like, difficult time to uh, do all this. Parenting, but I think mm, maybe I have to <laughs> stop there. Hello, this is my bedroom. These and these are my storybook collection. I'm coming with my mom to the show. Bye bye. Let's welcome our first participant, Mom Munu, and ask her daughter later the same questions and tally their answers. Welcome to the show, Ola. Uh, my first question, as always, is um, Do you know your child? Do you, Ola? Do you know your child? Yes. yes. You have how many children? I have two daughters. Ola. Two daughters, okay. Yes, is it easy bringing up daughters? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, there are, it's a challenge yeah, also. Yeah, it's like a challenge. any other child. Okay. People say it's easier to bring daughters as babies mm -hmm. as uh, as a child it's easier to bring up daughters but as they grow up daughters are more worries there's more concerns related this to this them. daughter and son are same i'm so happy i have you on the show yeah. yes I'm, I'm really glad you said that and um so you say these days it's, yeah. it's the same anyone can get into trouble yeah. anyone can yeah. make trouble yes all right okay um uh, tell me a little um something about your family 
Uh, my husband is an executive engineer. Mm -hmm. He works in Mangdisu Hydro Project. Okay. So is he? He is not. Yeah, he is in Thimpu only. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, I worked in Thimpu Jonka. I see. I have two daughters. Both of them are in Dr. Tobgel School. I see. Okay. We so are from Samchi. Okay. All right. Is it just the four of you at home? Yes. Okay. When they were when your children were growing up, did you have help? Yeah. Okay. All right. Both daughters are helping me. Oh, okay. They're helping you yeah. now. That's really good. What about when you needed to look after them? Did you ever need any babysitters or were your parents there? Uh, when they are young, I have a babysitter, mm -hmm. I have, but now I don't have a babysitter. They They're can do their own work, own. I see. All right, um, I have in here 10 questions with me. I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you first and then we'll ask the 10 questions um, to your daughter. Okay. And um, we'll tally the answers and that'll be your score, okay? Okay. Question number one. Would your daughter know who the Queen of Bhutan is? Ajiji uh, Chin Pima. Yes, would your daughter know that though? Yes. Okay, all right. What is your daughter's biggest worry? Every time she wants to score high marks. I see, so it's her academics. Yes, okay. academic. Question number three. Would your daughter know when your birthday is? Yes. Oh, okay, what about her father's birthday? Yes. All right, that's good. Does your daughter know your full name? Yes. Your husband's full name? Yes. Okay. So what is your full name? My name is Munugiri. Okay. And your husband's? My husband's name is Nir Kumar Giri. Okay. All right. So your daughter will also know the middle name yes. Kumar. Okay. Yes. Okay. Question number five. If you see your daughter with a packet of potato chips right before dinner, what would you do? I'll stop her. I see. And uh, would I she be okay? No. Not she, she won't be happy. Yeah. <laughs> But she would listen to you? Yes, she would listen. So you will snatch it and what would you do with it? Uh, after dinner, she will take. Okay. We will watch see. TV. I see, okay. Question number six. Does she know your mobile number? Yes. Your uh, husband's mobile yes. number? Yes. Good. Would your daughter know when the fourth king's coronation is? Yes. Fourth king's? Huh? Yes. Okay. What is one vegetable mm -hmm. your daughter doesn't like? Tomato. Okay. Question number nine. If your daughter had 1,000 milkroom, what would she buy? She wants to go to Pizza Hut. Oh, okay. All right. Question number 10. Does your daughter know where you work? Do you work now? Yes. Okay. So does she know where you yes. work? All right. Well, and what do you work as? I'm an IT officer from Timbu Jankak. Okay. All right. So she knows that. Yes. Fine. You've answered all the 10 questions questions very confidently, okay. I'm impressed. Uh, now we're going to have your daughter come here and okay. have your confidence tested, okay? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the show, Namita, right? Um, before we begin with the questions, I want you to introduce yourself, okay? All right. My name is Namiti Giri. I'm 10 years old. I study in Dr. Topgear School and I'm in class 5. Okay, class 5. All right. Do you like being in class 5? Is it fun? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's your favorite subject? Science. Why do you like science? It's interesting. It's, we learn about human body, the moon, and the plant, and natural things. Oh, wow. And um, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to become a doctor. Wow, all right. And then you like the right subject, ma'am. In order to be a doctor, you have to, have to, have to be in love with science, right? Yes. Okay. I have asked your mom 10 questions, and now I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you, okay? Here's your first question. Do you know who the queen of Bhutan is? Yes, ma'am. Who is she? Gyalsan Titsun Pema Wangcho. Okay, thank you. Question number two. What do you worry about the most? What's your biggest worry? My test marks. Okay, you're really scared about your marks. Are you good in studies? Yes, ma'am. Then why are you so scared about your scores? But I think a little, a little concern is good. Okay, you shouldn't you shouldn't obsess over your scores. All right, mm -hmm. but a little concern for your um, exams and your tests sh is good. But you shouldn't be too worried. You shouldn't stress yourself out. Okay, you're too okay. young right now for that. Question number three. Do you know your parents' birthdays? Yes, ma'am. Both your mom and your dad? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, question number four. Do you know both your parents' full name? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's your mom's full name? Munna Giri. What's your dad's full name? Nir Kumar Giri. Okay. 
Question number five. Um, if you, let's say you're about to eat um, a packet of potato chips right before dinner, your mom sees you and what does she do? She tells not to eat. And what does she do with it? She, she just says, okay, don't eat and that's it? She is not. All right. Um, would you eat it? No, ma'am. So what happens after that then? I get angry with her. Okay. <laughs> but, and, but then you don't eat the chips? No, ma'am. That's very good though. I think feeling agitated and upset uh, when you're not allowed to do something is completely fine. But as long as you know that your mom, in this case, your mom is telling it so that you can eat your dinner, right? Yes, ma'am. And then maybe you can eat it afterwards. Yes, ma'am. But not too many junk food, right? It's not good. Question number six. Do you know both your parents' mobile number? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Question number seven. Would you know when the coronation of the fourth king is? Yes, ma'am. When is it? 14th July, 1971. You're very close, but it's 2nd June, 1974, okay? okay. Um, what do you know about the fourth king? Have you ever met him? No, ma'am. Have you ever seen him on television or yes, a newspaper? Yeah? Yes, ma'am. What did you see him do? Getting crowned. Getting what? Crown. He oh, okay. crowned. Crowned, okay. We're talking about the fourth king, okay? Yes, ma'am. The father of the fifth king, okay? Yes, ma'am. So getting crowned. Fourth king crowning the fifth king. Okay, all right. It's very, it's a rare scene where you get to see both the kings, right? Yes, it's such a blessing when you see them. Okay. Yes, Would you also happen to know when the fourth king's birthday is? Yes, ma'am. When do you think it is? 11th November, 1955. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next question. Um, question number eight. What's the one vegetable you don't like? One vegetable you don't like at all. Tomato. Okay. I like tomatoes. You don't like tomatoes. All right. Question number nine. If you had 1,000 milterm, what would you buy? Frog. F frogs? Yes. Dress. Oh, okay. You like dresses? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. Do you know where your mother works? Yes, ma'am. Where does she work? Timpu Songkak Administration. And what is her position? IT officer. Okay, all right. Well, you've answered all the 10 questions. Now we're going to take a look at the score. Top. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Would your daughter know who the Queen of Bhutan is? Yes. What is your daughter's biggest worry? To score high marks. My test marks. Would your daughter know when your birthday is? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Does your daughter know your full name? Yes. Munnagiri. If you see your daughter with a packet of potato chips right before dinner, what would you do? I'll stop her. She tells not to eat. Does she know your mobile number? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Would your daughter know when the fourth king's coronation is? Yes. 14th July. What is one vegetable your daughter doesn't like? Tomato. Tomato. If your daughter had 1,000 milkroom, what would she buy? To go to Pizza Hut. Frog. Does your daughter know where you work? Yes. Timpu Songkhak Administration. I have the score and let's first of all look at the questions your mom was not able to answer correctly, okay? Your mom expected you to know the coronation of the fourth king, but again, um, although it's general knowledge and it's very important to us, right, as Bhutanese people, we need to know that. Mom and I grew up in a, in a, in a time where we were both, a, we were blessed to have both the fourth king and the fifth king. But your time, I think you were born at a time where the fifth king was, um, more <laughs> present in there. Mm -hmm. So mom might have thought that just as she remembers the coronation, maybe you would too. But that didn't happen, um, which is why your mom lost a point. Other than that, I don't see any other problems with it. So your mom scored eight out of 10. That's a good score, right? It's one of the best scores, huh? And um, there's still debates on um, whether tomato is a vegetable or a fruit, but both of you gave the same answer, so I'm gonna give you the score anyways. Now we've come to a segment where we do the resolutions, where it, as a mother, if you think you should make any changes in you, bring out maybe spending more time, or I don't know, anything you feel like you haven't done as a mother, is there anything? Till now, she listens everything, yeah. whatever I talk to her. Mm -hmm. So she's obedient. Yes. Okay. What about you though? Do you feel like, have you ever felt like you lacked? 
I want to give her best education. Okay, all right. And how do you think you can, could you do the start now? Yeah, I will guide her. Okay, that's good. I'm starting now. I see, okay. Good education, it's a big promise. Okay. And good education, you know, is, um, it's not something that will help you now. It will guide you now, but in the future, it will be the best gift any parent, uh, yes. any parent could ever give, education. Remember? Mm -hmm. So your mom has given you the best promise right now. Hopefully she will um, <laughs> follow it through. But now for you, we have come up with three commitments from your mother's side. Your mom has helped us come with three suggestions for you because even moms are perfect, right? Parents are perfect. They have, even they have rooms for improvement. So you as a child who's learning so many things, right? You always have room for improvement, isn't it? Yes, yes. So here are three things. I don't want. I don't need you picking all the three commitments here. Just pick one, and you will be promising it on live television that you will fulfill that commitment. Watch less TV. Do you watch a lot of TV? Yes. Ma okay. All right. What do you watch on TV? Cartoon. Okay. Hollywood. All right. And serials. Okay. Do you watch Hindi serials? Yes, ma'am. They're very capturing, right? They yes, capture you a lot. Okay. I think it is okay to watch a certain amount of television, but I would not recommend you watch uh, more than one hour, 30 minutes a day. Okay. If you cross that, it's too much strain for your eyes. Your brain is getting bored but can't tell you. It's not doing anything. It's not learning or helping you teach anything, right? Yes, so if you want to be a doctor, darling, you will have to turn that TV off and do something else. You don't have to study, study, study all the time, okay? You set a certain amount of time for studying, for TV, and then you can do some activities outside, maybe running, bicycling, skipping, in bed? Yes, ma'am. All right? Yes, so can I trust that, uh, can I trust you with that? Yes. One hour, 30 minutes of television every day. Yes. Ma okay? And in the weekends, you can make it to two hours. Tupka. Yes, now, don't think I'm not going to check on you. I am going to check on you. Okay? <laughs> that time, I need to know that our Namita has, is a changed girl and that she is working for the best of her future, right? Yes, ma'am. In the wish? Yes, ma'am. Your mom is trying to give you the best. You need to make the best use of what she gives you, right? Yes, ma'am. We've come to the um, seg segment called With Love. We'll have your mother read your letter. The wish first. Yes, so please go ahead. Dear Namita, we are so proud to be your parents. You have always been a good daughter and we promise to give you good education. Our love and care will be wrapped around you always. Hope you will make us proud to be your parents one day. With love, Mom. What about your... Dear Mom, today I would like to thank you because you have given me everything in my life. My life is very beautiful today and it will be beautiful every day because I have a mother like you. You have taught me the rights and wrongs of life, and you let me learn from my mistakes. I am very thankful to God because I have got a wonderful parent like you. I am very happy to have a small and sweet family. I love you so much, Mom. You are the best mother and the bestest friend in this beautiful world. I wish and pray to God to bless me with a mother like you even in my next life. With lots of love, your daughter, Nami. It's well written, very expressive, I like it. And did you draw some balloons? Do I see some balloons there? No balloons. Oh, the hearts, all right, that's very sweet. Thank you so much for your letter. Um, I want to take this time to thank you, especially Namita, for being um, able to drag your mother to the show okay. <laughs> and uh, for being a great guest on the show. And you seem to have a very lovely mother who knows what you want, who knows you as a person. Yes, so you need to be grateful for that. Yes, and she came all the way um, to the show for you, right? Yes, and um, I think that says a lot about her. Yes. Yeah? All right. So this gift is um, for you, for being a lovely guest. Okay? So here. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. We don't have anything for the mother, <laughs> but normally I realized if I make the child happy, the parents are also happy. And I'll, I'll thanks, BBS, to be. I'm really glad you came here, and this is a nice score. It it 
says a lot about mm -hmm. the yes. way you parent your child. All right, thank you so much. Build your child's brain and body. Provide helpful meals and snacks and model good eating habits. Encourage exercise by being active with your child and limiting time in front of the television or playing video games. Support your child's effort in school and provide opportunities to learn and explore by visiting the library, museum, zoos, and other places of interest. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of the show or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please email us at parenting at bbs.bt. Thank you and bye-bye. Any brand, everywhere. Amongst all watches, Titan is the winner of the Red Dot Design Award, which is equivalent to the Oscar Award in the film world and holds the record of the slimmest watch in the world. Titan is the fifth largest watchmaker in the world, sold in 32 countries and has over 1,000 varieties catering to more than 135 million customers worldwide. Why don't you be one of them? Titan is now in Bhutan with Kushu Enterprise, the sole distributor. Visit us at Kelwang Building near Clock Tower in Thimpu. We have genuine Titan watches for all, from school-going children to office goers to armed force personnel to sportsmen with contemporary to classic designs. You can get your choice of watch at Titan. Get your Titan from Tashi Commercial Corporation in Penciling, Gelifu, Samdup Jonkar, Paro and Thimpu. Bhutan Distributor in Penciling, Shoden Songkang in Mongar, Tsering Doji General Store in Tashigang, and Royal Bhutan Army Canteen in Thimpu. A Titan watch is not only a timepiece, but also a piece of jewellery with a sentimental value. Get a jewel for yourself and for your loved ones at MRP ranging from 450 to 25,000 Neutron. When you choose Titan, you are choosing a lifetime companion you can depend on every day and every season.